world with a wicked heart. Say hey, 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 Shut up! Oh. It's the truth! Yes! Shut up! All of you are worshipping nothing. All in the name of Christianity. Lord Jesus. Jesus. What is wrong with this I, I have very bitter revelations about this so called merciful God. Abomination, God forbid. I don't know if you Demon has possessed her. It is you that she has gone crazy. What has gone wrong with you, as a woman? Blood of Jesus. Yes. Hey, look here, Sister Faith. You better watch your utterances in the presence of God and the guardian of the people of God, okay? Oh, yes. What is wrong with you? Come over this yes. sister Faith. Pastor, why don't you tell everybody sitting here that Satan has possessed all of you? Do not come here. Do not come near me.
Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you because I know the Bible says of God in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 10, let your will be done as it is in heaven. And therefore, Lord, I begin to pull down every stronghold that has held this away. I begin to destroy. I say, Holy Ghost, fire! Let it burn. Let it consume in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rima Soto Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, I give you praise. Fit. Is she all right? The devil has finally gotten full hold of her, okay? And uh, hey, it was just revealed to me by God. So I'm just going on a rescue mission to her right now. However, see what you're going to do. Just go to the kitchen right now and get me those remaining two tubers of yam. All right? And um, fetch some measured gary for me. But, but Pastor, I am sorry. Those two tubers of yam are the only thing left in this house now. And the remaining measure of gary Look, 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 I know. I know. But you see, you know. You know how this um, woman and the children are starving, you know? And they're just starving, they're hungry, I just need to give them that thing, okay? Just, just do what I say you should do, okay? Just do what I say you should do right now. So, Try and manage now. It will soon be morning. Eh? Morning is almost here. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Solomon, be quiet. Uh -huh. You want to wake the whole neighborhood? And you're, and you're talking as if this is the first time we're going to bed hungry. Why can't you go to Mama Falaki and our neighbor? She help us with Gary to drink now. Me, please. We can't go and wake them up. It's already late. Besides, Mom, uh, Mom, uh, is already embarrassing us. Any smart thing should embarrass us. That's true, Mommy. I don't like to be Mom Falaka talks to you these days. Look, one day me, I'll beat a lot down. I'll beat a doctor and I Don't do that, Chichi. Don't do that. I'll just leave them to go. Huh? And that their daddy, Mr. Timothy. She's very wicked. Mommy, is it because our daddy has not returned? That's why it's been of faith to us. Don't worry. All will be well with us. Just try and go to bed, eh? Chichi, try. Solomon, try. I beg. Try. Eh? Please. Eh? Don't worry, morning will soon be here. Let me go to the bar and think of something during the morning. And tell yourself bedtime stories. It will help you sleep faster, eh? Yeah? You hear? Mommy, where are you going? What is it now? Do you want to wake the whole neighborhood? Are you the only one who's hungry in this house? Eh? You want to eat? Um, do you children should not add to my head ago? Have you heard me? Do not add to my head ago. You are hungry. You eat food. Come and eat me. Eat my eye, nose and everything. You want to eat? Am I the cause of poverty in this house? Eh? Am I the cause of the poverty in this house? You these silly children! As if I'm the cause of everything happening here. Are you all crazy? Shut up! Shut your mouth! No sense! Uh, have, I not, have I not tried for you children? Have I not tried? Uh -uh. What is it? It's because of you people that I'm still alive, oh. Because me, I'm tired of this life. It is because of the two of you. What no 
nonsense. You're saying, you're saying it's my fault. It's my fault. You're talking as if it's my fault. Shut up. It's not your daddy's fault. Eh? I told him not to go to Europe. He went. Now he's dead. Let, let, let me with the two of you. Two, two, if you turn up, you can your mouth. Rubbish. I'm sick and tired of everything happening in this house. Tired of everything. If you provoke me, I will, I will injure all of you. Uh -huh. I will kill all of you if you provoke me. Please, your head. I'm sick and tired of this life. I am tired. Eh? I'm tired of everything happening. It's only me. No sense. Rubbish. No. Where's the father? Your son is my fault. Where is he? I'm even, I am tired of this life. Do you know that? I am tired. Sick and tired. Rubbish. Huh? Would you more let me rest? What is it? In fact, I'm going to end everything tonight. I am going to, I'm tired of everything. To hell with all of you. To hell with, what have I even done? That, 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 that God does not even understand me. A, 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 a God that is not merciful to me. Sorry for threatening your children. Eh? Sorry. Sorry. It scared us a lot. How? But your behavior is very, very, very strange. I'm sorry. It's not as if you want to kill us. Me, kill you. My own children, how can you talk like that? Come, 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 come. Eh? 
Don't talk about that. Eh? I won't kill you. I can never do that to my own children. Hmm? Sorry, stop crying. Hmm? Sorry. What? Every day I remind you that your children and I are dying, but you will not listen. This world is a very wicked world. Nobody cares. I will leave your children and die you. I will commit suicide If I try this last time and it does not succeed, you will see what will happen. Already I am tired. I've had it like never before. I will leave your children and die. I hope you heard me very well. Who is that? It's me, Pastor Joshua. Pastor Joshua? says in the book of 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 7 that we should cast all our cares upon him, all our anxieties upon him because of what he cares. Um, right now I came with a serious message from God for you but before then I, think I also brought some food stuff. This is Yari and then Yari. I'm sure you start the family. Also, is this not too much? I'm sure you must have started your family. No, no, don't worry, not exactly. You know I know your condition, Sister Faith. Don't I? That you abandoned church for the past few months now does not really mean that I or even God is not worried about you. I personally I am worried. Right now I Came with a serious message from God. You know, I, I had a vision you were in danger with the devil. I knew it. Pastor, they have come. They they, they followed you, Abby. Are they outside? Are they outside? Pastor, tell me. Are they outside? Hmm? Pastor, did you, did, you, did you see them on the way here? They said they will kill me and my children. What are you referring to Those now? Those people I am owing now. They said anywhere they see me, they will kill me. Oh God, so they finally reached me. What are you talking oh. about? What is it? Pastor Sina, did you see anybody when you were coming? Look, 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 Sister Faith. Calm down. Calm down, okay? Hey. No, nothing is happening. Just calm down. Sit down. Sit down. Just Pastor, are you sure? Sit down. Let me tell you the message I brought for you from God. Okay? Just sit down. Sit down. You see, the Bible says in the book of um, Romans. Hey, 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 Pastor, what is all this religious talk now? I say people are after me, you are telling me religious talk. I am tired of all these religious things. What is it now? Eh? I am tired of all your sermons. What is it? What has it done for me and my children? What has it done? Why has it, why has it taken us to when we die every day? Please, I don't want to hear any of those things again. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Sister Faith! God! Oh my God. Hey. So the vision I had this night is really going to happen. Oh God, blood of Jesus. This family is really doomed for destruction. What am I going to do now?
Sister Faith. Wait, wait. Look, I had a vision about you this night. Mm. Mm. Revelation indeed. Look, you got lost from the sight of God and the devil led you for destruction. Yes, thank you very much. I saw you perish in a terrible way. If I perish, I'll perish. It's even better. Let me end it all now. It's better that way. Let me perish. In unrest, please. Let me perish. Anyway, I am leaving now. Go, go. Good night. Um, Sister Faith, remember, whatever thing you're doing or thinking, always remember your children, alright? Is okay. that okay? Thank you, sir. Good night. You can go now. such a thing when this is the time for you to be more devoted look what you're going through is just a normal thing anybody can go through in the body of Christ look the Bible says count it all joy when we go through trials and temptations hey, pastor I know please what is the good news you said you brought for me because you cannot just come all the way to my house at this time of the night and just go back without telling me the good news you have to tell me look okay look let me tell you something do you think you can find solution to your problem anywhere outside the will of God? Now tell me. I learned you now visit Babala was and the witch doctors. How could you? Eh, uh, Pastor, the church has failed me. Almost all the members in the church are as poor as I am, if not poorer. So I decided to seek solution to my problems by... See, Pastor. To tell you the truth, I only visited the Babala also to, 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 to know the whereabouts of my husband since he traveled through the desert to, uh, to Europe. And th that's all, nothing else. So what did your juju man tell you? Some say he's dead. Others say they cannot see anything through their crystal balls. Then turn back to God. Mm. Turn back to God. Let, look, let me tell you, you are playing with fire. You will just perish anyhow. He will soon die. I am telling you the fact. So why don't you just turn back to God and have patience, okay? And He will take care of you. Me die. Of course. And however, it has been revealed to me that your moment of joy is just round the corner. So why don't you exercise patience and see what God can do to your life? Now hear what the Bible says. In the book of, where is it now? In the book of Sam. Chapter 33, verse 20. Listen to me. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Alright? Hey, Pastor, please. Let me ask you one thing. Why is it that the more people are patient with God, the poorer they become? And when they decide to take their destinies into their own hands, they become very rich. And happy, Leo. Very happy. I want to know why. Even you, Pastor. You are struggling, managing to survive. A whole pastor like you. Is it not you that promised me 200,000 naira two years ago? Two years ago, pastor. Hmm? Yes, Sister Faith. Look, the Bible says there's a way that's made right to man. But the end thereof leads to destruction. Alright? And for the gift I promise you, the 200,000, soon and very soon, I will surprise you with the gift of 200,000. So, why don't you exercise patience and have faith in God just as I have had faith in God? Alright? Just look at your name, faith. Are you answering faith for nothing? Why don't you exercise faith and see what God will do in your life? I've heard you, Pastor. But, 
I am tired of listening to you and to your sermons. That is why I have decided that tomorrow I will go and look for that money through that ungodly way. And if it does not work, maybe that your vision might just be true. Good night, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry about that. I was out of my mind. And he said you did not take his message seriously. You know why? Why? I am tired of that church. In fact, I am tired of the so-called friends that are members of that church. Why? Me, why? How can I be a member of a church, a member of a special group of that same church, and nobody's willing to help me? Say that. They have been doing their best. Especially me. At least I've been helping you with little, little loans. Me too. I even... I, even... I appreciate all you have done for you, but I, there's no way I can... I, I have a... By the way, look at most of us in that church. We don't even have a fortune for ourselves. Eh, that is why I have to seek other means, eh? Anyway, thank you both for visiting I really appreciate it. Oh, sister, stop it. Where are you going to? You can walk out on us like this. Don't think we are unwilling to help you. As for me, you know we don't have enough. My husband and I are living on his brother's property. Have you finished? Did you by any chance miss me? What are you doing in the house of a sinner like me? Auntie, I came to meet you to just to greet you and to tell you that I came that we considered those offers. Hmm. What offer? Can you not the one that said that my money is criminal and bloody? That was then. No, nah, I'm no longer born again. Mm. There's no profit there. Mm. Yeah. So it's now you're waking up. It's now that you're waking up. Anyway, there are always things you and I can do together. So tell me, how are your children? Auntie, just all struggling to survive. We're managing. I know. I know. Do you still live in that house? Chief Afolabi must be really, really nice. To allow you to stay in his house for three whole years now with that son. He is indeed a godsend to you. He thank God for his life, but I'm no longer in his good books because I refuse. He said I refuse to play for you know, and he might just give us quick notice. I'm afraid he might just give us quick notice. Why? What for? Mr. Polabini said I refused to play ball with him, so I'm not talking to him, so. You know, I've always said it. I've always said it that there must be something inside you which is blocking your sense of pain. Something like a, 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 a juju pair apart from your born again is it? So what are you saying now? Have you forgotten I'm a married woman? Mm. I, I, I have children as well. I, I took an oath to, uh, to dedicate myself to my husband and to be faithful to him alone. Which husband are you talking Chris. Which Chris? What Chris are you talking about? Where is he to perform his duty as a husband to you and a father to your children? Eh? Answer me. Instead of you to pay attention on more rich and handsome men like Chief Apolabi, who are dying for you, they are here wasting away your talent. You are too beautiful to suffer, my dear. Auntie, you don't understand. I, I, I swore an oath of faithfulness and dedication to Chris alone. I cannot love another man, whether he's dead or alive. All those things are going to cage you forever. Yes. Auntie, I can't love another man. No. Like now, if I get a good job or any income, I'll be married to my children alone. 
except I meet Chris again. Uh -huh. But for now, all I came to tell you is that I need a job. I need a job badly, Auntie. I will kill myself if I don't get one. You don't need to kill yourself, my You don't need to kill yourself. So what kind of job do you seek from me? What kind of employment do you seek from me? You know my kind of business deal, don't you? But thank God I've been looking for most time. People like you to join my company. See which department of your which department you want me to join? But I, I mean I don't want to be a drug trafficker. Come on, you will do well there, my dear. You will do well there. Shuttling between Nigeria and Thailand isn't that a great experience for you? The drug is very dangerous. Cocaine is very dangerous. I can't. It will either injure me or if I if I carry it now, I'll, I'll, I probably will get caught and I'll, I'll be thrown into prison. What will happen to my children? Don't suffer, I, mean, I can't. Every time, your children, your children, your children. Why do you always allow these children of yours hinder you from one good thing or the other? Why? Well, not to worry. You can bring them to live in this house with me. I'll take proper care of them. See, uh, they won't like the atmosphere in this house. Really? Okay. Okay. So tell me, Fit. Last year, I wanted to take you to Italy to join my other girls there. But you stubbornly refused. Why? Until why are you talking like this now? What do you want me to be? A prostitute? I can't now. Eh? Oh, what will happen to my children? How would they see me? Okay, even if I decide to go to Italy to prostitute, what if I jam Chris there? What will he say of me? Auntie, please, I cannot. All I came here is to do is to ask you for a loan. That's all. I need a loan. All I need is a loan. So, so it's even because of a loan that you came. You didn't come to join my dirty business, right? You came because of a loan. Have you forgotten you're owing me the sum of 100 for 5,000? When are you going to pay them? Yeah, auntie, I'll pay you now. Like I said, I need a job. Even if it's to be cleaning your house, I can't do it. And from there, I'll get money to pay you back, please. Please, I need help. You know, fit. follow me. The only help I can give to you that is to advise you to either go back to your house or you follow me. Because right now, I don't know with whom you belong. You can't be in between. But if you ask me, I will advise you to go back to your God. Auntie, I can't go back. There's no profit there, like I said. Why? Why are you talking like this now? Because no, I can't you are go not back. like us, my dear. You can't stand the fact of leaving the face of your Lord Jesus Christ, just like us. Go back to being a born-again Christian. You'll be safer there. Auntie, Auntie, why are you talking like this? Please, now, why? Eh? Why are you talking like this? Auntie, please, help me with the loan, please. I won't, my dear. I can't. I want to allow you and your lovely children to touch my drug and prostitution money. My blood money to stay in your morals. Auntie, why are you talking like this now? Please, now, help me. Because please. I am already a sinner. I don't want to add to my sins by corrupting you and your children. Oh, Auntie, so I please. advise you to get out of my house now. Auntie, please, now. I don't, nobody, nobody wants to help me. Faith, my dear. Please. I leave that sum of one now for 5,000 naira to Go. I don't want to ever see you again. Auntie, please don't do this to me. Please. Out! No, Auntie, please. I said you leave. Auntie, leave, leave, Please, no. Leave. Please. I said go. Go, go, go. Auntie, please, please. I said go. I don't want to ever see you here again. Go. Leave. help me. Every day and night, I sit and I call your name. You can't help me. You are dead. What do you mean by yourself? 
Eh? You're here raising hands for me as if I don't know how to raise my own hands. Stay here and let me stop seeing you. So that I'll know what I'm going through in this house. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Hey, am I the only one happening to me? Hey, am I the only one? What is happening to me? Oh, hey. Don't worry, everything is alright. Just go inside and. and Get ready for school. I'll, I'll sort out your school fees. Go, 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 go. Mommy, I am. This is the way to our school now. Oh, have you forgotten? I know, but I'm not going to school with you today. Uh, where are you going? I thought you were following us to see our head, our headmaster because of our school fees. I don't have the money now. I can't go and see your headmaster now. I have to give him some money. Eh? I'm going there to make some money. Money? <laughs> Mommy, that would be great! Yeah. Where? How? Uh. Have you finally gotten a job? Um, I might if I hurry there quickly and I pray this one becomes very successful. It will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. Who was fighting? Wanted to fight you last week because you were owing us. You wicked woman. That is why I don't like coming out of the house now. She's Madam, good. Hey, good morning. You promised to bring me one to my house last week. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That's 65,000 naira. I'm just going to go and get it now. Wait, ma wait. let me explain By to you. Way. It is 75,000 naira. It has 10,000 interest on top of it. Please, now pay me my money, eh? Please. Hey, no, I'll pay your money, eh? You take it easy. You're not the only one that I'm owing this money. When the time comes, I'll pay all of it. Hey, when now? Which time? When? I need that money to put my life back on track, please. It is you get you get it very soon, eh? You get it very soon. No, why do you to look for a job right now? Which job? I have set and such no way. There are no jobs. No, wow. Even a cleaner's job, nor a janitor's job, I, no, none of that, I can't even find any, it's just as if I'm cursed or something. Yeah, you're not cursed, you're not cursed, it's just your hardship of the country. Take it easy. And I'm going to do for the job. Take this one. For your uh, position back home. You know, God knows if I have, I would do more than this. I help you and your children. Please manage it, eh? Thank you, Mr. Shegu, but please, please do something about my money. I am begging you in God's name. Do something, please, oh. Before, before, um, uh, before I, I, I do something, oh. this world. It's even good for me to leave this world because if I die, my children will become orphans and people will pity them and help them. Yes, my death will bring them progress. Yes.
Is she around? She just went out for the video. Who to go? Video. You don't know about it. It is an intercessory prayer session for you now that they say that all of us will be fasting for three days for it. A prayer session for me? Yes. I, I, I thought the pastor said that, no, everybody is saying that uh, you you have a, a, a problem. You are having problems with your uh, faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. But can that be true? Um, Angela, don't mind. <laughs> don't. Um, uh, it's all right. The bottom line is that I'm I'm still a Christian. Yes. You see, uh, Sister Faith, I have just one advice for you. Don't lose hope. Because, in fact, Pastor Joshua said that the devil is working. You don't lose hope because you are facing difficulties. Pastor Joshua said that the devil is about to destroy you. And funny enough, this is the time you are about to receive your blessing from God. Oh, you receive a blessing from God. Yes, <laughs> Me, receive a blessing from God. <laughs> yes, now. Hey. Pastor Joshua said that the moment a child of God is about to receive blessings from God, that is when Satan fights more to destroy the person. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, never mind. Um, Angela, yeah. uh, your sister's husband, Joe, uh, is he working tonight? Uh, okay, Joe. Yeah. In fact, I wouldn't know about him. You know policemen with their work now. Today they are on the road. Next tomorrow they are on the counter. In fact, you know now, you know their problem, you know their work. Hey. hey. Can you do me a favor? Favor? What? Angela, when I was coming in, there was this red saloon car following me. Honda, I think it's a Honda car following me red. And that is why I rushed here. Rushed hey, in hey. here. Follow me. So just help me check if the car is parked outside anywhere around here. A red Honda Salon car. Yes. How can that be? Just help me go outside and check. If you don't see, just go down the road, that corner. That corner, just go down and check. Because I'm, I'm scared. I'll also go home. I don't want anybody to follow me. Let me go, eh? That bend. Yeah. Uh,
Okay. My dear, let me how now. Fine. Um, did you see Angela, my sister? Angela, Angela just went down the road just now. Uh, which way? This I way. don't know, just this way. Okay, thank you. Auntie people, you forgot your gloves, Auntie. Hey, I've seen it. I looked for you everywhere. I wanted to leave a message for my husband. Uh, uh, didn't uh, Sister Faith tell you she sent me? Sister Faith? Yes, now. Where is she? She sits there and I need to get into the house. Uh -uh. I didn't see her inside. Is it see me or see me here? Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Give her her now. Fine. Where have you been? Hey, I went to greet Ejiro, uh, your neighbor. Okay, Ejiro. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sister Faith, that you sent me to go and check for you, I didn't see anything like that there. Hey. I didn't see anything. Hey. 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 I said it. Maybe I was just imagining things. Okay. Thank you. What's that? Ah, never mind. It is you I came to see. I have some important things to discuss with you. You know I'm traveling. Traveling? Yes. So where? My husband's village, of course. Excuse me. I'm busy at the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. Eh? Okay. My husband's village. What are you going to do in the village? I want to go and explore some uh, things now. Let me know how I'm going to do my children. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's not very easy. No, just take it easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, that uh, I came to... I was wondering if you would help me uh, take care of my children while I travel. When are you coming back? Because my children will soon be coming back from their granny's place. I will soon return. Are you sure, Sister Faith? You know things are so difficult. And my husband's salary has not been paid for the past six months. Mm. Anyway, bring the children. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sister Faith, are you sure you're not lying? Lying. Because the Holy Spirit just ministered to me now that you're up to something mischievous. Me? Up to something mischievous? Faith. Faith, you're up to something. You're up to something horrible. God. Satan is a liar. Blood of Jesus. Sister Faith, what are you up to? What are you talking about? Of course you know what I'm saying. She wants to deceive me. Or you think I don't know? Please. Please, I don't want to be part of any evil plans. Please. Hey. It's alright now. Go on. Go ahead. You're using tactics, eh, to avoid helping me. No problem. Don't help me. I'll sort myself out. Don't help me. Sister Faith! Sister Faith! I'm 
not know what I'm saying. I don't know. The Holy Spirit. Please. Please think. Think well before you do anything ungodly. And do you know we're having a special prayer section in church just for you? Look, Sister Faith, I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Please, let's go. Pastor Joshua will be so glad to see you. Please. please I said please. I am traveling. Uh -uh, you deaf? For a job. We have been looking for you. Me. Your eyes. Are you crying? Me? Crying? No. Tears in your eyes. No, it's a lie. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Crying, I'm just sweating. Cry every day. Why crying? Why? I'm not crying. I'm okay. Eh? Have you heard? I'm okay. There is no food, isn't it? Mommy, don't worry, mommy. So there is food for us somewhere, eh? We will bring food for you. Plenty of food, okay? Don't cry again. Yes, Auntie Pinta said that we should come to our house to eat our food. Yeah, that's good. Don't worry, honey. We can eat and we'll bring some for you. See, we'll put it in the cooler for you, eh? Please stop crying. There is food for us, eh? Don't worry, eh? No, don't bring for me. to tell mommy about this matter. Mommy, our headmaster said they can't bear it anymore. That from tomorrow we should stop coming to school. And they even said we should give our parents this letter. Mommy, when will daddy come back? Yes, mommy. You always tell us about daddy, that he'll come back. When will he return? Mommy, um, has daddy forgotten about us? Um, no. Daddy loves the two of you very much, so he can't forget any of you. Hmm? Does he love you too? Yes, too much. Okay. Don't worry, mommy. Daddy's coming back home. Next tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, I dreamt about it and he will be to come back next tomorrow. Daddy will come back. Don't say that, Solomon. Well, why did you say that? Because Daddy is uh, dead. 
Keep quiet. Who told you that? You say that. Who told you that? Why I say this is because people tell me, people around the street, people in my school, and even all the people. And he will soon come back. He's going to come back next tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Good. So now let's go. And let us concentrate on what to eat. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It is not good to beg food. Have you heard me? Yes. It is not good. Did you hear? Yes. Had your husband has not returned. I'm so disappointed to hear that. How I miss this intelligent young know, man. I know definitely you know how to survive. And I know you will return very soon. And when he does, I know definitely he's going to come back with plenty of dollars. I know. Um... Don't mind, don't, don't, relax, don't, don't mind those people that think your husband is dead. Such a husband like yours, please, cannot just die like that. I know, you will definitely survive in Libya and any other party in, in, in Europe. Yes. I, I hope so, I, I wish you were right. Of course, of course, I'm right. I'm right. But I'm sorry. I I know your children have not been getting much from me of lately. I'm sorry. But how how are your children? They're fine. Chi Chi and uh, Solomon. You know those children are your hope and our future. So you don't toy with them. Okay? Eh? Please. Eh? Um. Don't worry, I, I'll take care of them. Yes. There's something I'd like you to check for me. Check? What is it? Is there any problem? No, no, I know, no problem. What is it? Uh, see, this place is very open. Yeah. Let's look for somewhere more quiet. And... Is this something? You want us to go somewhere? Yes, somewhere more. Can I, can I, please? You get it. 
my husband's brother's brother sent it to me through, uh, through a parcel message. Uh, are you sure it's for protection? Are you sure? For protection? Yes. For what? Protection from what? My husband, uh, my husband is, is going to send some dollars for me and my children. And some arm robbers have got the information, so I want to be ready for them. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you want to face arm robbers? Great. Shh. Oh God. Don't, don't underestimate me. This gun is loaded with bullets. Can one shot from this thing kill someone instantly? Because that is what I want. Well, it, it depends. Uh, Fit, you, you have to be very careful with this. Because it, it, if you touch this place, uh, it fires at the person in front of you. And you just have to be very careful with it. I know, I know this. Why do you bring all here to leave? Yeah, no. Oh, eh? Sister Faith? Sister Faith? Where is she? Well, so we're waiting for Pastor. I think he's still busy inside. Yeah. Okay, no. There's no problem. I will remind him that you are still waiting for him. Thank you. And uh, don't worry. We will allow the children to stay while you travel if that is what you want. Teacher you. Solomon, how are you? Hi. I hope you are taking care of your mother. Yes, sir. Um, We'll be glad to have you two in this house, you know. Eh? <laughs> Smart children. Let me remind the pastor that you're Okay, thank you, sister. But, you see? You people are just... But, mommy, where are you really traveling to? Where are you traveling to? I mean, me say the truth now. Say the truth. I should say the truth. Yes. Yes. I should say the truth. Yes. Um... I am traveling to heaven. Heaven? Yes. Heaven. My mind tells me not to trust you. <laughs> me? What is happening? No, no, what is happening? Not, nothing is happening. Eh? I'm traveling for your own good. Nothing will happen. Eh? You. You, are, you're deceiving me, me, your mother deceive you. Come now, my dear. Don't talk like this, my mm -hmm. daddy. Eh? So you want to deceive us? I can't deceive you. Eh? Oh, yeah. You are not going. You must follow. Yes, going. we must. You're going. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you, Pastor. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting for this long. It's because of my journey to Benin this night. It's okay, Pastor. I had an emergency call concerning money, really. Money? Yes, you know, um, that brother in church that promised church and one million naira might finally do something about his promise. Mm. It's good. You don't look convinced, Mr. Faye. As usual, Mrs. Dalton Thomas. No, mm. Pastor, it's, you know... When you're used to promise and fail, you can't just continue believing. So I just, it's okay. I know, I know. It's, it's, it's normal, you know. It, it's just what we go through. Remember, the Bible says in the book of 8, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, everything works together for good for those that love God and for those that are called according to his purpose. Uh, it is true. Um, Pastor, the reason I came is to... Um, bring these children to you so that they can stay with you while I travel. Oh, I know, I know. I've been briefed about your journey, really. And um, God himself has revealed the kind of, to me the kind of journey you're embarking upon. Or you think I don't know? Pastor, what are you talking about? I, it's just Pastor. to give... 
We don't want to stay here. We won't stay here. Oh. Yes. We are going with our mommy wherever she's going to. Ah. We won't stay here. Yes. See me see trouble. Why are you children doing like this now? We must come with you, mommy. You are not staying here. We won't. Solomon, come and help me carry me. Dad, look, look, look. We won't stay here. See, see, um, just keep the bags. Keep the bags. Keep the bags first. Look, um, Sister Faith, I think God is just using these children to stop you of your intentions. Look, as for me, I have no other comments. Because God's actions are louder than any word. All right? All right? Look, Solomon and Chichi. Look, I, I really don't have anything to spare you guys right now. But I promise I'll come back big next time. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much, Pastor. So, you children, you want to travel with me? Yes. You want to? <laughs> Let's go. For your love, go. Let's travel. Eh? Ah, Sister Faith, uh, are you so, going with the children? Yes. yes. We're journeying together. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you Take care of your mother. Chichi. Take care. Uh, my regards to Pastor. Okay. Bye bye. Chichi Solomon. Oh, you, you children should hurry up so we don't miss the vehicle. Though. Good. Hurry quickly. <sighs> My darling Chris. My darling Chris. I have missed you so much. My love for you still burns like a flame. And I'm wondering what happened to our love, why it came to an end so quickly just after you traveled to Europe. Mommy, we are ready. Anyway, my children and I have missed you so much. We miss your love and attention. I, I, I want us to continue from where we stop. I miss your love, your smile, your laughter, your intelligent talks. I miss your. Mommy, what are you doing there? Anyway, your children and I coming to join you soon. So we'll continue our honeymoon from where we start. Mommy. Okay? Huh. I'm coming! I want to honor daddy. This is what I want to wear to travel because he would like to see me in my wedding dress. Like this. Our father? Yes. Is he waiting for us where we are traveling to? Very correct. Our father? Yes. It's a lie. I don't believe you. Have I ever lied to you children before? Now, sit down. So, mommy, say the truth. Are we going to meet our daddy where we are traveling to? 
Yes, I didn't want to tell you children before now because I wanted it to be a surprise. I want us to go and meet daddy where he is. Yes, I would like to see our daddy. You see, I told you, I told you that, that one day I dreamed that daddy came back and bought plenty gift items for all of us. Mommy, it's true, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. What is that? It is what we're going to use to transport ourselves to where daddy is. Transport? Yes. For Christ's sake, what's keeping Sam now? Now that I'm back to my fatherland, can't I get to see my family again? But Oga, she be saying I hear you and your family didn't stay before you travel. Yes. Then go and see I go find out now. Ask of your family. Sam said that the people that I used to know that I used to live there no longer live here. Anyway, when he comes, he'll take me to Yusuf. Yusuf knows where my family is. Then where is he, Sam now? I, I, I don't know what his kiss means. Sam! Sam! Look, I, hold up now, I beg you. I must go get my wife. Yes, I've been missing for the past few years, Mammy. Thank you. Oh, but what, what kept you now? There's no place now, but she didn't wish me. You're welcome once again. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad to see you. This is a small world indeed. Who can ever imagine that I will see you again, Chris? No, my brother, that's one of the wonders of the world. We'll make you part and part. Sure, sure, sure. You, are. you know. Hey, my wife was pregnant with my left. Yes, yes. What did it turn out to be? The boy! Head? His name is Solomon. Yeah. Although you don't tell uh, when I see your family last year, but uh, they say the boy did be intelligent, sharp, and handsome. <laughs> because for what do you expect? The boy must resemble his father now. Mm. Father was born father. <laughs> you're right. Can you know, imagine the joy of father would have been missing? Thank God, now you're back. What about changing my daughter? No, she was too ah, bad. that one a beautiful queen. Hey, between she and Solo Seven, I don't even know who that is. Seven pass. Oh, now wow. Hey, see what I've been missing while inside the building. It's okay. Let's go. So you mean you've been in prison in Libya all these years, my brother? The first day I set foot on Libyan soil while going to Europe, I got slammed into their prison for just being an African. I spent seven years in jail for nothing. Oh my hmm. God. My brother, forget, forget. This is not the time for the sad story. Now, why for some of these foreign countries safe? But you, you let her find a way to Europe, isn't it? My brother, it is by the grace of God I managed to escape to Europe. Hmm. Due to some serious reasons, I couldn't even communicate with my family. Anyway, all is well that ends well. God's blessings followed me anyway. I don't worry. I also give the details of my experiences to everybody. Wow. I'm sure your wife and children will die of happiness whenever they see you. <laughs> me will die of happiness when I see them. In fact, I just can't wait to see them. I am dying to see them. <laughs> saying is that I want you to forgive me for what I'm about to do to you. What are you about to do to us? Look, children. You want to go to heaven, don't you? Yes. And you wanted to travel with me, didn't you? Yes. So, we're all going to visit heaven tonight. Which heaven? How many heavens do we have? One, of course, and that's where God is. And that is where we're going to tonight. Stop joking, mommy. It's only when people die that they go to heaven, and that is people who are good. Yes, it's true. It's when people die that they go to heaven or hell. Yes. So what are you trying to tell us? That we are going to die or what? Well, I am sorry to announce to you that we're all going to die in this room tonight. Each and every one of us. What? Shut up! It's a good move. Shut up! Shut your mouth! Did you hear me? I said, shut up! Keep quiet! This is our transport 
to heaven. Mommy, now, shut up. Shut up. Stay calm and do as I say. Good children. Mommy, is that him? A toy. How can this it be? It can't be real. It's a real gun, my dear. You wanted to travel with me, didn't you? Oh, you are going to kill people. Yes, I know, my dear. So you have a real gun? Yes. Where did you get it from? I found it. Somewhere. To help <laughs> us go to heaven. Oh, please stop fighting like real gun at us. Oh, please. Uh, just keep quiet. Didn't you hear me? Keep quiet. Now! All these years, my family has been suffering seriously of poverty and all that, and none of Unafi do anything to help them in my absence. No, be so. Things hard for everybody too, bros. Moreover, it's quite a long time that I saw my, I set my eyes on the family last, but their situation is not bad as such. Yusuf, come. You mean my wife and children hardly see food to eat? Good Samaritans, no day again for this world. God, my family has suffered in my absence. You super big. Let's go, not let me go. Samaritan still there. It's just that their family was not lucky enough to meet them. That is true. Too. I can't believe this. Driver, please shoot the scar forward. Let me quickly go and wipe off their tears. Yusuf, I beg, show the driver the way. Show sure, the driver sure. the way. And now, wow. Honestly, everybody thought you were dead. Even me. Even then, now I'm trying to see what I, I'm trying to believe that this is Chris. My yeah. brother, this oh, wow. is Chris, oh, and I would have died. Oh. It was the thought of my family that kept me alive all those years. I still have that thought to say in my head. You just have to talk to the driver now. Talk to the driver. Show we're, we're going to show him the way. sufferings everywhere especially in our lives that is why I want to end everything here and now because that is the only option since we have no solutions for our sufferings you also said that this name is the best to solve all sufferings and he said that if people suffer later that they enjoy and it's true so you say I should wait and enjoy 
Yes. Wrong! Your Sunday school teacher is very wrong. <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> what do you children know? Keep quiet! You children should keep quiet because you do not know anything. That is why I want to kill myself and solve I am going to put the gun like this. And I will shoot myself. I know now. I will die if I shoot myself. What if you die? We won't have any mommy again. We haven't even seen Tommy. I will be so afraid. I mean, how afraid survives a lot of you. I know. That is why I wouldn't leave you children in this wicked world. So I'll kill everybody. All of us will die. No, mommy. If it's a drug, stop it. I saw the first teacher say we should stop talking about this. What does your Sunday school teacher know? He doesn't know anything. Can't he or can't any of you see the sufferings everywhere? Especially in our lives. That is why I want to end everything here and now because that is the only option since we have no solutions for our sufferings. You also said that this time is the best to solve all sufferings. <laughs> and you said that if people suffer later than they enjoy, and it's true. So you say I should wait. And enjoy. Yes. Wrong! Your Sunday school teacher is very wrong. Did you hear me? What do you children know? Keep quiet! You children should keep quiet because you do not know anything. That is why I want to kill myself and solve everything here and now. Just shut up! Yeah. Sure. 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 Oh boy. No, no, no. Oh God. What is happening? What is happening?
come near me. What's going on here? Don't come near me. If you come near me, I will shoot you. Did you hear that? If you come near me, I will shoot you. Stop it. What is happening? Stay. Don't come near me. What are you doing with the gun? I shot eh? my children with the gun. Stop. And so I am going to kill myself. Eh? Did you hear me? Hey! I want to kill myself. Please, just kill I have to go with my children. Don't come here. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. Give me up. 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 Could be happening here for God's sake. I don't know. But whatever it is, it must be something horrible. A boy and a girl. I don't know if man is hey. 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 Sam, I have this funny feeling in my stomach. I feel suddenly empty. going to tell you right now. Something just happened concerning me. What is it? No. Were those kids mine? Jesus Christ. I, I felt it. I, I felt it. Oh God, I am finished. What happened to them? What happened to them? Why? Look, gentlemen, this is not time to say any other thing now. 
All we have to do is to I make sure. I killed my children. Uh -huh. I want them to stay alone. I want them to come with me. Hey. I killed my children. I didn't want them to stay hey. here so far. Hey. The suffering is too much. I wanted hey. them to die hey. with me. She can't refuse to shoot when it came to my own turn, no see. Uh, why now I'm tired of the troubles okay. of this life. Who would I do now? Too much of freedom. Who would I do I'm tired of people troubling me because of my shame. Because your husband is nowhere to be found. Here you are too different. should tell me now, eh? Just tell me what I will do now that they're dead, eh? You know tell that. me what, what will happen to me. You know that. You know what will happen to you, you know? Straight to jail. Ah, yes. yes. Life imprisonment. Hey. Hey, yeah. Oh. Houseless woman. Oh. Hey. Hey. Mentally balanced faith. How did Chi Chi and Solomon die? Was it an accident? No. no it was intentional. Hey. It was intentional. Yes. I was tired of everything, Krishna, for eight years. Oh, this is so Nobody wanted to help. No. Oh. oh, God. Enough, Mr. Oh. Oh. I've not heard this before. 
Oh God. Dash out. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Where are you running from? Come on. Sit down. 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 Please, please, can somebody tell me where my, my children were taken to? Which, which hospital were they taken to? Can, can, can anybody tell me? Which one were they taken to? I, I think, I think, uh, I think we should call us on the mobile line so that yes. he was the one that took them to hospital. Yes. Oh, let go, um, you too. Yeah. Ah, where are you? Won't you sit down one minute? Somebody should hold this woman now. <laughs> Driver move, please. Taxi driver move. Chris, Chris, do you believe in God? Of course. But do you? Chris, please, I've messed up and I know God is going to punish me. But there was nothing I could do. I couldn't leave the children. I was frustrated and lonely. Hey, Chris, please. What exactly came into your head? Was it insanity? Is the devil? Is the devil? Oh, really? the devil. Please, I couldn't, I couldn't bear the frustration any longer. I couldn't. Look, how does that concern two innocent children? The, the children you shot. How does that concern Nobody them? Nobody will take care of them. Nobody will take care of them if I leave them. So I decided to take them, and I have to. That's the, I have to finish what I started, Chris, please. Faith. Please help me, I'm begging. Faith. I must die with them. You must die with them. Faith, where will all this leave me? Huh? I'm just confused. I don't know what to do right now. Just, I just want to... Little what I've started, please. Faith. Please. Okay, what do we do now? Huh? What do we do now? Oh, I'm confused. I'm confused. I wish, I wish there's a way I can just turn things around. Let's just pray the children survive. Let's just taxi driver, hurry, please. Wait, wait, is it possible that God, do you believe God exists and that He can make those children come alive again so we can live together now? Please. Let's just pray the children survive. Hurry, hurry, taxi driver, please. Madam, Faith! Driver! What's up? I'm ready. Drive quick. I'm going to tell you now. Drive quick, I beg. Madam, 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 Go put some water down now, put some water. Bring. Madam, everything will be fine here. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Right. Right. Okay. Right. 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 I'm here, I'm here. Chris, where are my children? Oh, where are they? We are on our way to the hospital where they are taking to madam. Take it easy. Oh, God. It's all right. Will they survive it? Will Chinja Solomon survive it? I... Uh, see, bro, Chris, bro, Chris. We are wasting time. We are really wasting time. And uh, I think it would be wiser if we had now goes on the ground. 
Oh. You mean oh. hide it from the police, isn't it? Okay. What happened this night? It's the kind of news that flies so far. So it will be better. Let her disappear now before the police get to arrest her. That's all. It's true. The police? Yes. Uh, See, okay, okay, please. Even if those children survive, my damn, my still go to jail. That's what I'm talking about. For attempted murder? Yes. Attempted murder. That's where you're going. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Where are you going to now? Just leave me alone first. Now, what do you mean by that? Where are you going? That's what I'm asking. I want to go to where I'll have peace. Please forever. Yusuf, 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 Sam, please. They just stay with her while I rush to the hospital, okay? Don't, don't let her out of your sight. I don't trust her with herself. Hey, Joe, please, get me the briefcase. Quickly, quickly. The whole, whole hold up for me. Get me the briefcase. Faith, Faith, here. Yeah. A hundred thousand naira. I'll get in touch with you, okay? Uh, no. Faith. Faith. I wouldn't want to lose you, even if I lose the children, okay? Okay? Uh, please just take, take care of her for me. Take care of her. Uh, Adrian, let, let, let's go. Uh, Where's your home going, ma'am? You have to escape to the north. North? See, madam, if, if you stay in this town, Definitely, the police will catch up with you. Um, bro, please, I have a solution. What? I know of the town you have to see. It is called Shendam. So the best thing, you go there, get a GSM phone, buy a line, you know, for your communication. I think that is the best idea. Um, Sam, get the taxi, please. I beg. Quickly, quickly. Um, look, um, you see, you see. You guys must allow me to you, okay? Please. See, 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 I don't have much in this I'm really to get the people, okay? Okay, but don't worry. When all this is over, I will seriously reward you guys. Don't worry. Meanwhile, I'm... Um, it will... It will, it will, it will quickly, quickly. Two more. Okay? Um, here, please. This is for you. Um, give some hints to, okay? Um, just take care of that for me, okay? Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, what's the name of the town again? Shendam. Shendam. Yeah. Shendam. Shendam. Uh, uh, what's going to If she gets there, the police will never. It, it, it's all. It's all right. I'll, I'll remember the name. Shendam. 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 Please, 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 please forgive me. Hmm? I still love you very much. The kids. And I love you so much. It's just the handwork of the devil. It's all right. It's all right. This used to love me like he used to. Yes. For me, I'm still crazy in love about you. And time and distance haven't changed anything. I know. But you see, all is not well with us right now. Yes, I pray God gives you the heart to go through this situation. I, I pray so too, Faith. I pray so too. But I have to rush now to the hospital. Okay? I must come with you. No, you... you Yusuf! Yusuf! Just... Oh, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay? She's not mad. Yes. We know Sister Faith very, very well. Yes, officer. She's our neighbor. So, you mean she is not mad? Yes. And she took a gun and shot her two children to death. Imagine. She must be arrested. Yes, of course, sir. Now, tell me, where did she get the gun from? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, you mean I swear to God. I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. Inspector. Sir. This is the mother weapon. Very good. Very, very good. Keep it safe. 
our detectives will help us find the source of this gun. Yes, sir. Beautiful. So, none of you knows the whereabouts of this woman, eh? No. I don't know. Now, where is the hospital? She must be there. I heard she followed you people to the hospital. <laughs> Officers, arrest every one of them. Huh? Huh? Men, women, and children. The name of the hospital is called Akando Hospital at Amu Kuji Amu. Yes, mm -hmm. and if you don't see her in the hospital, go to the church. You will see her there. The name of our church is uh, Everlasting Life Bible Church. And it's a small church and it's located at... Um, in short, when you get to the hospital, you find the husband. They said the husband is back from abroad. Yes, he just returned. Right. Um, gentlemen, so. So. let us go. Uh, you, come with us. Copra, so. ensure you arrest everybody here. Take them to the station for further investigation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine, let oh, us yeah. go. Follow me. I, I, I understand. But my fear is, can this hospital save the lives of my children? Look, I have enough money here to, to send them abroad this time if necessary. Look, gentlemen, we are talking about gunshots and bullets here. Inside the bodies of my little children. It's little children. Relax. <laughs> relax. Relax. God is in control here. The doctor has just confirmed it that the two children are still breathing. This is... This is a serious coincidence. Huh? You mean you just returned from abroad? Yeah. Yes. This is wonder. Don't just understand. I think we were just hurrying home back home. What is the essence of my coming home? Yeah. To, to meet this horrible situation? Yeah. Huh? Hey, Joe. Uh, come. Uh, have you secured my luggages yet? Yeah, the hospital security man has given us a room, so we've kept and locked them in there. Thank you very much, thank you. I have a taxi there. Hey, please hold on. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. Ah, thank very much, dear. thank you. Oh, yeah, man, if you the place where they rush you, I for some can stay with you, pray for these children. I don't know now. I'm waiting the doctor talk. The doctor says they are, they are breathing. Oh, glory be to God. She will be well with you in this Amen. Amen. The devil must never succeed in his evil plans. Amen. Amen. And all of us must not experience any problem that we cannot overcome in this world. Amen. 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 I will be back as early as possible tomorrow to know how God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. God bless you. Good evening, gentlemen and ladies. I understand that this is the hospital where those children that were shot by their mother were brought to. Yes. How, I mean, where and uh, where are they and how are they? Um, they are in the theater where the bullets are being removed. That means they are alive. Yes, yes. Oh God, we are praying to God to to help us to so that the children will live, huh? Because they were shot in a close range. Wonderful. We are praying. Wonderful. Tell us, what part of the body were the bullets fired at? Uh, one on the chest. Um, one on the arm. Yeah. Uh, so, where is the woman that, sh that shot these children? She didn't come with us. What? Yes, she she didn't, didn't come with you, but they said she followed you people to the hospital. No, officer. The woman was at home when we took the children to this place. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, are you the person who came back from abroad? Yes. Oh. You must be the husband then. So, where is your wife, the suspect? To tell you the truth, she was following us down to the hospital. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. along the way, 
she thought she wouldn't be able to uh, handle the situation anymore, so she dropped. <laughs> dropped where? Go where? Ah. I want to believe you're covering her up. No, why should I? I believe you must have suspected that the police will arrest her. And thereby you have decided to hide her. You are making yourself an accomplice in this crime. Now, how can a woman who murdered her two children be allowed to escape? No, officer, please. It is not murder yet. My children will survive in Jesus' name. Yeah. 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 Fine. Whatever. Now, listen. In case you don't know the rule of law, your wife will still go to jail even if the children survive. I know. It is attempted murder, I know. Mm. You were the last person she was last seen with, and she is your wife. Right now, you are under arrest. What? Oh, um, Sergeant, come and handcuff this man. Arrest this man. Handcuff him. What, what you do with this wrong? What, what, what have I done? I have to be here to take care of my dying children. Can you can't arrest. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Gentlemen, I just got information Father is here. Yes. 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 So you are the father to those children? I, I am, doctor. Officer, what is going on here? Are you making any arrests? Uh, yes. He is going to help us arrest the woman who shot those children. His wife, I believe. Officer, I am the chief medical director of this hospital, as well as the chief surgeon operating on those children. Right now, we require the presence of the father of those children. For what? Huh? Of course, we need his signature or the consent form before we can carry on the operation. <sighs> All right. Fine. But that woman must be arrested, prosecuted, and jailed. So I'm counting on your support to help arrest her. How may I help, officer? Those children should not be released to anybody, dead or alive. From now henceforth, they are police property. I still don't understand, officer. Those children, dead or alive, should not be released to anybody. I am leaving them in your custody. If for any reason, those children get well and are discharged without us arresting their mother, You'll be in serious soon. We do respect, sir. Cobra, sir, let's leave. You took a gun and shot 
Two innocent children in cold blood. Your own children. Pastor. I'm very sorry. I don't know what came over me. Stop, stop, don't be silly. How could you, how could you say that? Please. Pastor, how are the children? Did you see them? How are they? Can, can they make it? Look, they are dying. I went to the hospital and I met your husband. It was he who connected me to Yusuf through the phone. Didn't I tell you about, didn't I tell you to be patient in the Lord? Now tell me, what did Romans chapter 8 verse 18 to 22 say? Tell me. Tell me. Or don't you remember? It is a present suffering and nothing to be compared to the glory ahead of us. Good, good. So why have you allowed all my efforts for you to be a waste? Tell me. Now, this is the 200,000 I promised you. Why couldn't you just really one more day of patience for this morning? Why? I didn't Why? know this. I'm going to turn out this way, but I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> now, you won't even enjoy a couple from this morning. Not even your husband's pounds and dollars. Do you know why? Oh, I'll go to jail, isn't it? Oh, God. Don't that means my children are dead. They should have removed the bullets from them. Hey, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you for keeping my children alive. Thank you very much. Pastor, please help me, thank God. Help me intercede on my behalf. I need to be made new again, please. It's too late, young lady. Look, you see. God is going to use you and every other person that doesn't have faith in him and teach them a proper lesson. Even for anything that needs to prove is above human philosophy. And that's when you will go around to testify to the people. <laughs> Pastor, I swear, I will, I will testify. I will testify and win souls for God. <laughs> I will do anything. Well, Please. Well, look, unfortunately, you are going to jail. You will go to jail. Don't you know that? Look, by the way, the police are looking all over town for you. Right now. I have to leave now. Pastor, please don't go. Please. Pastor, please don't go. Pastor, please leave. Pastor, please. Pastor, please. Pastor, please listen to me. Pray for me. Now, pray for me. Pastor, I need your forgiveness, please. Even if it's for the last time, just pray for me, please, Master, please. Okay, just get up. Get up. Get They said you were 
away for about eight years. Yes. I just came back to start life afresh with my family. But the devil is trying to say no. Don't worry. With God, the devil will prove their liar. Doctor, please, can you be kind enough to excuse me? I mean, us. Hmm? Why? What for? We don't normally talk. Doctor, please, I, I, I want to talk to my children in spirit. I want to beg them to try their life for my sake. Please, please. But it is against our policy in this hospital to leave visitors alone with patients, especially when they are not yet in good shape. But I am their father. It's alright. I can still talk to them, even if you're here. May I? Your daddy's back. I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me. I am sitting very close to you right now. I know you must have been dreaming about seeing me. One well, also, your dream has finally come true. But you must be alive to enjoy this dream. Please, my son. Stay alive and enjoy all the goodies I brought home for all of you. Please, my son, please, just stay alive for my sake. Please, please. back. I want you to hang in there for daddy, okay? Just hang in there. And I missed you all these years. I missed you like crazy. Don't worry. Daddy's back now to take care of his little angel, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. Nothing will happen to you. Daddy's back now, okay? And daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. I I know you can hear Daddy talk now, can't you? God, I miss too. I love you. I love you, my angel. Just hang, hang in there, okay? Hang in there. You believe in God, don't you? Why not, Pastor? Of course I do. I will never have any reason not to believe in God or in His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a dangerous thing to do. Losing faith in God or not believing in Him. Your wife tried it 
and she's facing the consequences right now. Pastor, does it mean that God will make her pay for her sins? But you say she's been fasting and praying, pleading for God's forgiveness. Well, um, I think God will forgive her. God will definitely forgive her. But you see, it's a tricky situation. Because even if God forgives her, God might still want her to be persecuted and be jailed. Simply because he has a purpose for it and a point he must make. That is why God allowed our Lord Savior Jesus Christ to die for our sins. That we might have salvation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, that is why God also allowed the physical laws of the Jews to convict and to kill Jesus. Check the Bible in the book of John, chapter 19, verse 7. You will see it there. So, Pastor, what you're saying is it would be a sheer waste of time if I hire lawyers to, to defend my wife's actions in court? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Just, just give it a trial, okay? Anything can happen. But remember, whatever happens is the will of God. But the... Who's calling? Pastor. It's my wife, Faith. Right. She's been calling every second, every minute, worried about the children. All right, talk to her. Hello, Faith. Look, I said you should calm down. The children will survive. Yes. Yes, the doctor says it's normal with such cases. Huh? Okay, in short, I'm coming over to see you right away. I have the address. All right. Bye. I still love you too, darling. So what's up? Um, Pastor, I have been thinking. Do you think it's wise for Faith to continue hiding from the police? Because if she gets caught, I don't think they'll be merciful with her. Hmm. If you really ask me, I think she just have to give herself up to the police. I think that's the best thing for her to do. Okay. I'll go and see her right now and advise her to do so. Okay. Yes, it's for my children. I want to watch them grow up in this house. Hey, how are they? They're almost two weeks now in the hospital. Well, they are fine. But can you believe that I still have not been able to talk to them? Why? According to the doctors, they're still in a state of psychological shock. He says I should give them some time. Hopefully today. It's good you see and interact with them. At least that will... They will, have, they will know you the first time in their life. Yeah. Yeah, right. But for God's sake, Satan is surely a very wicked being. See how he's denying faith the joy of a comfortable home like this. Something she has craved for all her life. There is no cause for worry. I'll bring my wealth of experience as a lawyer to get her free. And with the help of the children, if they forgive her, if they tell the court to free their mother, I believe the court will comply. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, Why did you let her go and surrender herself to the police? And now they won't give her a bail? No comment, Annie. No comment. It's the doctor. I hope all is well with my children. Excuse me. Hello, doctor. I can hear you very well. 
No, I'm fine. What? Jesus Christ. An emergency? Doctor, it's a lie. Doctor, it can't be true. No. My children can't die. Doctor. What's what happening? I am finished. Well, what? Yes. My children are all dead. My children. No, no. My no. children are no. dead. No. <laughs> Yes, I can hear you very well. I'm fine. My children are fine too? All right. Oh, all right. Uh, doctor. Doctor, God bless you. God bless you. I'll be there. I'll be there. They want to see me? God, I am really dying to see them too. <laughs> yeah, I I'll be there the next minute, okay? I I'll be there. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank, thank you, thank you. Bye. My children are alive and kicking. They want to talk to me. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm beginning to hear some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 guys. Look, guys. I have to run now. Take care of yourself. The house is all yours. Drink. Do whatever you want to do. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I had some problems while abroad. Unfortunately, there was nobody through whom I could send messages back here to your mother. Hey, hey, hey. that reminds me. Daddy, mommy wanted to kill us. Yes, with a gun. She shot us. Oh, uh, yes, and we died. <laughs> no, no, no. You did not die. And that's why we're here. We can talk to one another. But see, I thank God for that. And I am sorry for everything. It, it was all my fault, okay? All my fault. We found ourselves in this hospital without money. We were all supposed to die. Where is she now? <laughs> She's somewhere praying for you kids. The gun did not go up when she tried to kill herself. Oh, she's very sorry for playing with that gun. Very sorry. She wasn't playing with the gun, was she? Oh, she was, she was. Look, you kids must forgive your mother. That's what she said that she come and tell you. That she didn't really mean to do it. That it was all a bad joke. Okay? So where is she now? She in the hospital somewhere. Uh, no, she's hiding somewhere. You see, some people want to kill her for playing with that gun and injuring the kids. Who wants to kill her? Some people. But I want you kids to go and talk to those people to leave 
mommy alone. If you do that, they will leave mommy alone. I know you love your mommy, don't you? I don't know. I don't think I still love my mommy. She wants to kill us. Hey, 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 G. Hey, hey, come on, please. I don't want you to talk this way. I don't even want to think in this way, okay? Look, you kids must forgive your mom and, and learn to love her. Continue to love her. Okay? Okay, you do that for daddy? Okay? Yes. Good. Now, I want you kids to prepare yourselves to go back to the new house for a new and wonderful life. Yes. The doctor said we will be discharged tomorrow. Yes. I know. I know, and that's why I'm so, so excited. Okay, you kids can't believe what you'll see of the new house I bought for you. Big as in big, big, big house. Big. Really? Yes, with lots of wonderful things inside. And lots of gifts that I brought back from the for you kids. <laughs> now, if you kids will excuse me, give me a moment to go and talk to the doctor, finalize arrangements with him on how to get the two of you out of this place, okay? Yes. Big good kids, I'll be right back. I'm coming, okay? I'll be right back. So long, I can't be sad. So now that you're on bail, if you like, jump bail. No more, Inspector. I want jump bail. I'll be able to I hope you are not forgetting the thing. Okay. Um, I will come to... Uh, how are you? I was even told that uh, you don't drink and you don't drink any water. Is that true? Yes. Good for you. I think you're okay. I'll tell you something. Let's give you water something. That did it was the devil. Please forgive me, please. Remember how we used to live together before? Let us continue to live like that. That is here. Eh? Come on, home now, please. Oh, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. What's up, my mom? We are forgiving you. Please fault of the devil. Since we used to commit him to God that created us and we ask him for forgiveness and he will forgive us. 
We are forgiving you. It's okay, man. <laughs> it's okay, man. We are forgiving you.
God is good. He is alive. He's been good. He brought me from from the backside of nowhere, and He put me here, and He's put a song in my mouth. Hallelujah! If you have but if you have faith in God, believe me, God will never let you down. He is too sure. He says His word will never return to Him void. If He has put a word in your heart, believe it; it will come to pass. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. So stand on your feet and let's give Him one more lovely praise. Hallelujah! Amen.